And welcome back to Character Select, David Mal, back for more... Brutal Legend. Brutal Legend. Where the legends are brutal and the music is fucking epic. Even though you said you don't like metal, what the fuck? <laughs> Look, I can appreciate metal without liking it. Eh, uh, true enough. I don't know, I guess... I guess my... My taste in music has changed as I've gotten older. I am an old fogey now, and therefore... Not a big fan of the... Crushing my ears metal. Oh, well, I don't listen to ear rape either. But, you know... <laughs> but... Well, it doesn't mean I don't enjoy metal. And hell, I've been enjoyed that for a while. Also, my <clears throat> brother got super turbo into uh, death metal at one yeah. point. And the, he he and listened to fucking Cannibal Corpse and a couple other things, and was like... like you know what? I'll, I'll, I will listen to death metal and black metal like once in a blue moon, but the thing is is that if you want to enjoy like hard rock and proper metal and stuff, there's a... It, yeah, it's just not... There's... The screamo metal, there's certain kinds of it I'll listen to, but again, it's not something I'm going to go out of my way to acquire. Yeah. Now, unless if, it's if you, dear you know, listeners out there, actually like death metal or you know speed metal no, that's or fine. something, that's cool. Enjoy. I just don't. It's not my thing. Well, it's like the. The selections they have picked for this game for, like, you know, the death metal and the scream metal and everything else, those are good examples of, like, stuff I will listen to. I will yeah. absolutely listen to that. But there are so many others that are just not not great. Yeah. You know, it's like, I like, for one thing, I like to be able to understand the lyrics of the music I'm listening to more than anything. Yeah. If I'm listening to a song and I don't know what they're saying... I'm kind of not okay with that. Because <laughs> I would be like, I'm like, So I'm, I'm are you confused. saying that you don't like Ramstein? No, because <laughs> I actually speak German. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. <laughs> you got a problem, Bat? Yeah, I got a problem. I got a problem with you attacking my family. Now get f***ing lost or I'll bite your f***ing head off. You tell him, honey. Yeah! Go, Daddy! Jesus. I'm not attacking your family. Oh, you just barged into our home to borrow a cup of sugar then, yeah? I'm just walking by. This is a public area. That's what they all say. Bats are supposed to live in caves. <laughs> yeah, well, our caves got a squatter. <laughs> that? <laughs> that out in like a minute. Oh, really? Or are you just pulling my wings? Wait here, I'll be right back. Uh, <laughs> how many do me hey, like? quit attacking me. Or I won't help you clean out your cave. Well, are you... Sure. I'll just go in there and... Lay down some mouse traps. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, will we die like the other men, Daddy? I hope will not. Will we die like the other men, Daddy? <laughs> Who the hell is that? <laughs> I don't know. It sounds almost like Ozzy. It the, does. The voice modulation to it, but... No! Oh. Ah, she's too hot. Gotta wait for her Hit it with the axe. Yes. Is there a bug? Yes. Well, there's a bug. Give me a second. <laughs> a bug. All right, sorry about that, everybody. There was a bug. A bug. A bird. <coughs> Hello. <coughs> Hello. You're gonna have more fly dudes. Good. I need to kill Watch more of them. Yeah, watch out for the sickle. Bitch! Yeah. 
Now you're on fire. Ha ha. Yeah. Oh, fuck. This is probably fine, yep. right? I can summon my own monsters. Maybe? No. Not sure. I wonder. Yes, it does work. Face melter! <laughs> Oh, nope. can't block that. No. Excuse me a moment. Yes. Hit it with an axe. Now get away from it. Ta-da! Creepy. So handy to have a man around sometimes. Oh, God. I had that. <laughs> hey, thanks for saving our home. Sorry I took a sh on your head before. What? What? When? <laughs> oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was a thing that happened. Oh, God. Such. And the thing is, is I'm. I, you know what? I need to look that up. I'm wondering if that is Ozzy that voiced that. All right. Uh, so there's one fuck. riding the death rack left. There's a bunch of iron hide sneak attacks here, and then that's all the side missions. It is. Dad Bat is voiced by Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> I'm annoyed he didn't scream Sharon, but this is before and that. You I think. <laughs> no, he screams Sharon in the. Uh... Oh, yeah, in the Motor Forge. In the Motor Forge at some point. We haven't point. seen it yet, but he does. Alright, we need to kill two more bird... Bird thingies. What song is this? <sighs> Children Eight. of Bodom. So it's talking about, like, you know, death metal and stuff. Mm. Children of Bodom was, like, one of the ones that I listened to that wasn't, like, bad. Oh, kill it. Bitch! It's so much easier to kill when you have a giant lightning cannon on your side. I mean, that's true of many things. We're just keeping this land safe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if we head back, we almost certainly get one of the, uh, one more sickle bird in the dry ice mines, so. Or we're not going through the dry ice mines. Never mind. Oh, no, he doesn't scream Sharon. Or at least not according to the wiki. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, I'm not going to sing it again, I promise. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that's interesting. I didn't know that. What? Um, some of the introductions, like the greetings, apparently if you, uh, the first time, if, if you enter a Metal Forge for the first time and already have some fire tributes, he greets you with, well, aren't you a cocky bastard? <laughs> I was like, damn, I wish I knew that. I would have, like, made you get some fire tributes first. Uh, that is kind of funny, actually. You're still alive. You look fucking terrible. <laughs> Every time you come back, there's another fucking scratch on that beautiful car. I think we've heard that one. Uh, my favorite is still the, what is it? <laughs> like, just just, just staring at each forth. other. Yeah. <laughs> just like... I was like, that is great. I haven't had my Guardian of Metal coffee yet. I know, just like, what is it? Man, where are all these stupid birds? All the time. All the time. Pick of Destiny is such a bad, good movie. 
it's it's definitely not a good movie, but it's definitely entertaining. <clears throat> I now understand the uh, what is it the references that since I, now that I realize that Dad Bat was voiced by Ozzy Osbourne as well, it makes a lot of sense due to the whole you know. Man, I could kill those things he, all day. He bites the head off of the you know he bit like the real bat's yep. head off. And, you know, Dad Bat says, I'll bite your fucking head off. <laughs> I was like, oh, now I get the jokes. <laughs> it would have helped if I knew it was actually Ozzy before that. Um, there are so many Easter eggs in this game, too. It is insane. Oh, yeah. If you're, if you're deep into metal, this oh, game is yeah. like, this game is just like, yeah. I think the, yeah. the other reason this game didn't necessarily sell well is because I don't think... A lot of people that are into like 70s and 80s metal are really gamers that like, like this kind of game. Yeah. Yeah. True. I'm not saying that they they don't exist, but I'm saying that there probably aren't that many of them. It's it's not a large demographic, we'll say yeah. it like that. Yeah. Oh no, I messed up your hair. Oh no. You're an angel witch. You're an angel witch. Um, can you look up the the songs in the game and tell me if uh, Beals a boss is in this game from yeah. Tenacious D? Check your characters, units, world, game. There should. And if it is, can you tell me where to unlock it? Okay, come on. Marching around, kicking. Let's see here. Soundtrack. Probably Original not soundtrack of 20 songs, as well as 107 Control. metal songs that can be unlocked and played in game. Uh, how do you spell Beals a bit? Is it B E? Just look up Tenacious D. Okay, Tenacious D, Master Exploder, The Metal, yeah. and that's it. God damn it. So many opportunities. God damn the number of bands in here. Oh, yeah. We're on patrol. I mean, 107, like... Songs. 107 songs that are, like, non-original and therefore royalties had to be paid on. Mm-hmm. As, like, just the fact that one song can be very expensive to pay royalties on, cramming the 107 <laughs> into one game is like, the only so you don't want to make any money, do you? The only game that I can think of that had more was uh, Rock Band. Rock Band. Yeah. Yeah. What you writing? No, I'm just trying to calculate how many of those guillotars I just wasted. A hundred? Almost. Five. <laughs> I can beat that easy. I'd get moving if I were you. Oh That's my god. Hard. You just go into the salt mines, or ice mines, and hit them a couple times. And then you just have to be come back here to kill the... Uh, Master Hexatons. Yeah. Hextatons. Wee. I could follow the road, but uh why? But that would be easy. <laughs> and we don't do easy here on character select. That car we do is... the most <laughs> asinine things possible. <laughs> I disagree with that. We do the most do asinine the most... things in the most asinine way. For <laughs> views. <laughs> ah, no, we don't do it for views. We do it because it's fun. This is also true. Although I will say that one of my... <sighs> one thing that I really enjoy is when we get those comments on videos where it's like, um, you know, been watching you guys for a long time or just found your channel and gotta say you guys are amazing. Uh, I laughed my ass off, or this is a really good playthrough, or Dude, get out of the way, Metal Beast, Jesus. Um, those ones always make me smile. I love that. Yep. 
I know what is it, Hedra is kind of like she she showed uh, when we first did the Alien Isolation run through. Yeah. Like I talked to her after that, and she was like, "Oh yeah, I showed my family that." I was like, "Why would you do that? To me? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that to me? What is what you monster?" I was, I was like, "Why would you show them that?" She's like, "Cause it's funny as hell." I was like, Look, "Yes, Matt, but I, I would like to say." If you, for everybody out there that hasn't seen our Alien Isolation playthrough, definitely go watch it. I apologize for the audio quality. Um, but you, on the third episode of that series, were so freaked out that the alien killed a dude that you made the alien oh, show up an hour me. and a half before it's supposed to actually be in the game as a threat. Yep. Somehow. <laughs> It's quite frankly amazing. Keeping this land safe. <laughs> like you're not supposed to be able to do that. You did it. It's doing the most well, asinine it, thing in the most asinine way, my friend. Yep. <laughs> well, it was like I was wanting the tram to show up faster, and it wasn't showing up faster. <laughs> and then the alien killed me, like I knew it was. And then you were like, it's not supposed to be here. I was like, well, it obviously fucking is. There's one. Where? You, right there. Left, nope. It, it's literally mashed up against the pillar. Oh. Beefy boys, ain't they? Oh, God, yeah. They have a ton of health. Bye, horse. <laughs> Hi, horse. Bye, horse. I'm going to shoot you with lightning and hit you with the giant fanged mouth on the front of my car. We'll okay, thanks. Bye. Around, what did Eddie say when he knocked a horse straight up into the air? Hi, horse. Oh, God. <laughs> Go to your corner. <laughs> You're the one that brought up dad jokes. Uh, yeah, this is true. I did make that comment a couple episodes ago. <laughs> oh, God. Don't. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Stripped off the flesh. It may have been just covered in blood, but, you know, same difference. Hmm. There's a lot of things in this game that should be destructible. Like everything? Well, like, just those little lampposts and stuff. Oh, yeah. I think they are, actually. Oh. <laughs> that didn't work out. Hits it like a brick wall. Dude. All right. And, and you're up here now. Everything's fine. We made it. <laughs> no damage to the car. I was curious there. I was like, mm, I wonder if he just found a place to get soft locked. <laughs> We're just marching around <gasps> kicking. Thought I saw one. Didn't. Moving on. Painting the ground with the blood of my enemies. Sickle Wraith just hanging out, gets shot in the ass with lightning, dead horse. Don't get too close to it. It's fine. It's strange that it doesn't them. feel so hot because, man, he looks pretty hot because he exploded. Speaking of, your car is most definitely on fire. We're kill just it. marching around, you kicking. Like me Don't steal my kill mittens. Goddamn right. Oh, God. Yeah, that thing ended poorly, but, you know. Probably fine. 
That thing will kill you if you try to fight it. Mm-hmm. Hey, look, a Gilator. Last guitar. Don't hit it. I made the mistake of uh, ramming one of those once, and the car comes to a dead stop just in time for its guillotine to smash me. <laughs> I feel like and I was like, almost oh. wanted to die. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they kind of do. Shoulder time. No, it is not shoulder time. This shoulder is for ladies only, not girls. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, it was a pretty horrible thing to say. Oh, uh, now we gotta drive all <laughs> the way back. The way back. This is not a good way to do this. You would think they would have had, like, him move the outpost depending on what you're hunting. Because, you know, it makes more sense that it's like, okay, well, he's just finished hunting these things, so he is in the area where he hunted these things. No. <laughs> that is not how they do it. And I don't understand why. Because this game makes a misstep smile. That's why. It does. I mean, there's not many mistakes in it, but there are a few that are just kind of glaring that you're like, ugh. I mean, that's a double fine game in a nutshell right there. Like, 90% good, 10% eh. 10% questionable design choices. <laughs> <clears throat> but I get it. Unless yeah, we're talking about space-based DF9, in which case that's 90% eh. And 10% why would you do this? Yeah, no kidding. Soul thrashing black sorcery. Um, a skeleton witch. <laughs> um, when it comes to developers, there's very few developers that I implicitly trust. I used to, like, back in the day, I used to be like, oh, Squaresoft is releasing a new game? I'm down, I'm there, I don't even care what it is. We'll just march it around, um, kicking now it's more like, oh, Square Enix is releasing a game. I guess I'll take a look at it, but I'm not going to necessarily get my hopes up. Raw yeah, control. exactly. Um... I think that's like with every developer, you know, they, they, every developer had their like golden age. Like for the longest time, Blizzard was like my golden child. It could do no wrong because it made, you know, Starcraft, Warcraft. Right. Um, and then it hit World of Warcraft and I was like, eh. I mean, it was it was a good MMO, but I wasn't really into MMOs. And then Activision got involved and just shit fell apart. I mean, Starcraft 2 was still good. God damn it, Mal, he's not even but, fucking here. Where the hell did he go? Where the hell did he go? He's back here? What the fuck? That's dumb. But yeah, no, it's just there's been, and like, you know, what was it? Bethesda as well. I was like, you know, big into Bethesda games back when Morrowind and Oblivion. Off. Gotta give Clementine a breather. But then, uh... You know, it's just some of the questionable choices with, uh... Oh, your thing's still on fire. Slam it into a wall. Fail. Or you could drive up the wall. Look, I, you told me to do a thing and I tried, alright? I tried. <laughs> um, but no, it's like, I think all developers have had, like, their kind of golden age moments that... Raw Patrol! You know, I'm not sure, they just either... Well, they're always chasing the dollar, which I understand. It's a business. you got to do that. Well, but. so there's a couple of developers nowadays that I am, I will say, you know, I, I trust them implicitly. Um, one is Firaxis. Yes. Uh, because, you know, I don't necessarily play Civilization a lot, but I love Civilization, and I love XCOM. And they have treated both of those amazingly uh, well. Just cruising for demons yes. to kill. Uh, I oh. can't. I can't think of very many games that they haven't done very well in the last twenty years. Well, isn't there an upcoming Firaxis game? Yeah, uh, um, Marvel Midnight Suns. Yes. Yeah. I'm interested to see how they do with that. It's like everybody's like, "Oh, it's Marvel XCOM," and they're like, "No, it has cards." And everybody's like, "What?" 
Yeah. So, so that's that's kind of why I'm like, okay, what? I'm I'm interested to see how they're going to actually handle that. Yeah. The fact that it like any time any game uses a card based system, I'm immediately suspicious. Oh no, I love card based systems. Ah. Uh, there's a couple card-based systems I'm okay with, but a lot of them are just that I've played are just hot garbage. Yeah. Um, um, it's either because they, either because it's like it just screws you over entirely. It's like, oh, I have these like a series of units, like what is what is the game? I think Thea, Thea the Shattering, and Thea. Like, it, it's an interesting game. Uh, Norse mythology, fantasy, really cool and stuff, but it's got a card-based challenge slash battle system. And it can either be really cool and really intuitive, or it can completely fuck you. Yeah. And the fact is, it's like, I've got this, like, you know, super high-level unit. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I would never joke about my life-and-death battle with the mighty Hextodon. When I ate his heart, I said, thank you, mighty Hextodon for giving me all your strength and making me even more virile. Ew. And then I ate the hearts of a couple of his friends. Hunting has really messed you up, man. You're gonna have to get as crazy as me if you want to beat my final record. I killed three of these. Seriously? You haven't lived until you've slept naked on Hextodon fur. God, shut up! <laughs> Why don't you shut me up? I can beat that easy. I'd get moving if I were you. <laughs> God. All right. And I've lost my card. Jackass. Oh, that didn't get bleeped. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, but no, like, was it Thea the Shattering and Thea, like, the Rebirth or whatever the hell the games hey, are? Wash you? Um, yeah. The second one was better. And after a series of patches, they did kind of fix the card based system. But, like, when it first came out, that... It's like, okay, I have this unit that has, like, all this really epic gear. And it's, like, you know, has, like, really high stats and stuff. And it's like, okay, the cards are dealt. And I immediately die. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, what? Oh, you can't swap the heads. I thought it locked it in until, uh... I can barely see them, though. Well, that's Hunter. That's... Is Ophelia... That I think that's regular Ophelia. It's Hunter, regular Ophelia. Alright, good. <laughs> A monument to my love. Pretty sure that's Ophelia, because she's got the choker on. Yeah. Yeah, that's not Lita. Um, but no, like, so card based systems can either, like, if it's done well, then yeah, I'm. I'll play it, but if it's not done well, it's kind of like, oh damn, yeah. why would you do this? <laughs> yeah, that's fair. It um, really depends. On, like, I mean, Slay the Spire, that's a good card-based, you know, game, but if they didn't have it balanced, hey, what have you been up to? it would be hot garbage. Pain comes in many... It's good for you. God nah. damn. 324. What have to do for a fire tribute? Please, the f***ing gods of Metal Man, figure it out. Right, okay. I'll be back soon, covered in Metal God love. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably one of my favorite outros. It's just like, oh, God. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think that a card-based system can be done well. A card-based system... Anything can be done well. Anything can be done poorly. So... Yeah. But card-based systems are at least upfront about the fact that everything is random, or it's supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, no, that's true. So. But, like, I mean, my thing is, like, if I've got a character and it has a certain set of skills, I would expect to be able to use those skills at any time, not depend on what hand I got. Well, so that's one of the things that I actually really like about a card-based game is a lot of people are like, oh, I want to get these cool cards and play them whenever I want. And it's like, I want to get a cool card and play it as often as I want. Because yes. because the idea behind any kind of 
game with a random factor is to reduce the random factor as much as possible. And once you realize that, a lot of those games are very easy. Like XCOM? XCOM is very, very difficult until you figure out ways to reduce the random factors in your favor. And then mm -hmm. it's like, oh, well, obviously I'm not going to take a shot unless it's 90% or above. It's like, no, I'm going to take the shot that's 75% or 50% or even 25% because if it doesn't work, I have a backup plan. If it does work, I can do more. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's... Once you figure that out, randomness in games is a lot more forgiving. All right. Oh, yeah. Time to kill these bitches. This song sucks. I think that has six legs. It does have six legs. It's a hextodon. Of course it does. Hextodons, where are Death's you? Clutch. Oh, there's one. Blah. Do, 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 do. Just killing giant monsters, apocalypsing animals. Pretty much. <coughs> oh, and now you're facing this way. It's fine, I, I landed it. Uh, but yes, everybody out there that's watching, uh, what, if any, developer, big, small, indie, whatever, um, do you trust implicitly? And when they <coughs> announce a new game, you're like, I'm in. And if there isn't one, what ga uh, what developer do you follow with good expectations, I suppose? Yeah. Oh. Oh, what the hell was that? What you get? Carnivore. That means you have murdered a lot of critters. I suppose. <laughs> or maybe it's killing a certain number of critters with the... Uh, Mouth. Maybe. The, uh, was it? Fa uh, coiled Maul. Where did all these fucking know. Hexodons go? I'm not sure. I don't know. Developers, I, I don't know of any that I. I mean, there's some that I have good feelings about. Like, you know, Firaxis is one of them. Um. Oh, gosh. What's some of the other ones? I'm like down with I'm trying Lately, to a lot of them a lot of them have been annoying me because they're like her derp -der, nfts i'm like no yeah you take Although, that shit and go to hell a lot of them have walked that back so that's good yeah well yeah some of them haven't like i'm not sure what the fuck square enix is thinking um but like as soon as like what was it microsoft and mojang was like yeah nfts will never be in minecraft all of a sudden a whole bunch of, like, you know, NFT worlds type stuff. People got butt hurt over that. I was like, dude. <laughs> yeah, no, keep, not people, crypto bros. We're just marching around. Yeah, exactly. Them. Mittens, mittens. <laughs> Get the fuck out of the way, man. Where the hell are these hexadons? There may oh, be one on the troll. bridge down at the base, but yeah, still, they should be. Check. In, they should be in death's clutch. We're just marching around, kicking I don't see one on the bridge. That may not render in yet. Nope. Well. Damn it. No kidding. Um. Oh, shit. Landed it. We're good. <laughs> That was a butt clencher. <laughs> <laughs> it was. As soon as you hit the rebar on the opposite side, I was like, and this is how Dave died. Um, <laughs> Alright, I'm going to reset them. Hold on. I'm trying to think of other developers. Nope. Oh, there's one. God, I used to, there used to be a lot more I would, like, 
had high expectations for. I've just become jaded over the years. <laughs> just having um, those expectations stepped on is like not been good. Atlas, I will follow, but not necessarily all of their stuff is good. Atlas? Uh, they did the Persona series on, along with a oh. whole bunch of other stuff. Um. Oh, uh, it's not actually. Uh, well, it's, the publisher is Bandai Namco, but the team is Project Aces. Ace Combat? Ooh. Uh huh. Every single one of those games is amazing. No exception. I used to say, well, it used to be all about CD Projekt Red, but then Cyberpunk hit, and I was like, oof. Oh, well, mm, so, mm. I liked Cyberpunk. I never finished it. No, I didn't either. Well, I couldn't. But I, I couldn't because the bugs got it. I, it killed my game. Like it. Yeah, the, I ran it, into it, a. Bu- I, I ran into a bug that killed my game too. So. Yeah. So I, the thing I put it down. I might pick it pick it up again because it's been long enough that they should have ironed out. And there's mods for theory. it now too. Yes, I have seen some of those. And in fact, I. I played for a while with some of the mods to fix some of the issues, like the minimap issue for one. Thank you, mighty Hexagon, for giving me all your strength and making me even more virile. Oh, God, I'm becoming that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, he's, uh, he is, go check back at the... No. Um. He's not down there. He's... Really? He's not back at the, uh... Raw Patrol! Alright, time um, to reset the world state. Yeah. <sighs> Have you pleased the metal gods? Maybe. <sighs> you don't know. Metal noise, blood... Of- okay, see you later, Guardian of Metal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I'm sure that these uh, voice actors had way too much fun in uh, some of these things. Where the fuck? Uh, here, hit your map. Where is it? Is it taking you to? Okay, so the. Okay, well, there's only two places he can be. One is up here, so let's go check. And then swing back to his main location. Yep. Oh, let me actually top over. Over slaughter. He ain't there. Let's see here. Okay, so. You go back to the giant iron cross outside Blade Henge. Yeah, so it's original here. area. Yeah. To someone, I was just checked the wiki. It's like he, I completed all side missions, but the man is not appearing on my map. So that's a bug of sorts. I don't think it's necessarily a bug so much as it's not actually a quest. I mean, you go back for your reward, so. This song is terrible. No kidding. There we go. Kill the ox, slay the ox, destroy the ox. Alright, now look right. 
No, he's opposite. The, like his, oh, he's over there. His little, he's in his goodie hut. Right there, to the right. Get up, my dude. I have slayed the largest beast in the land. You know those things are endangered, right? <laughs> in danger of being delicious, you mean. <laughs> now what's next? Next step is I hit the road. You're leaving? I've developed too big a following in this area. <laughs> I'm gonna have to split. I just hope there's a land out there with bigger, more ferocious game. And fewer copycat hunters. Since you're obviously one of my biggest fans, I've got a little something for you. Carrot? Here. Steel Quilled Blade. The Urchin's Quills have an odd tendency to break off, get stuck in targets, and re quickly reroll themselves. This results in a gruesome explosion upon death when this blade is used against infantry targets. Thanks. Just remember, whenever you kill something, a tiny piece of you dies. A tiny sissy baby bedwetting piece that you didn't want anyway. <laughs> Understand? I think so. <laughs> Good. Now get out of here, killer. I have slayed the oh. largest I'm gonna beast in the land. It. You know those things are in danger, what? right? Why is it doing it again? In danger. Because you talk to him. You're being delicious. But I can't you skip it. <laughs> now what's next? Our well, button's not working. But, I, hit I mean, I, you saw me pause it. You're leaving? I've developed too big a following in this area. I'm gonna have to split. I just Ugh. hope there's a land out Dude, there shut with up. bigger, more ferocious. You did game. this. It's your fault. Fewer Dave. copycat hunters. Since you're obviously one of my biggest fans, I've got a little something for you here. Thanks. Just remember, whenever you kill something, a tiny piece of you dies. A tiny sissy baby bedwetting piece that you didn't want anyway. Understand? I think so. Good. Now get out of here, killer. It's a pretty cool looking axe. Mm-hmm. It actually is one of the best uh, blades in the game. Nice. Because the when the dudes explode, that those explode anyway. But when you kill them with it, that'll teach you. Serves you right. They basically explode like a quill bore, which uh, does damage to enemies around them. Hello. No, come back. I have to kill you. I want, I want I to hit you with I, my axe. I have to stab you with a quill bore. No. Stun at first. Easy, girl. Hold still. Yes. Nice. All right. Uh, next time on character select. Now stay calm while I mount you. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that was a sentence. But thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it. And Mal. Yo. Damn it. It's not what I wanted to do at all. You hit it. Sorry, just needed to get your attention. Now you did it something. Good one. Easy, girl. Ha! <clears throat> that Delicious. Delicious. Ready?